CKD or chronic kidney disease is defined as abnormal kidney function or structure present for greater than 3 months with subsequent indications for health. CKD is a common condition estimated to affect about 9 to 13% of the adult population worldwide. Because the kidneys remove metabolic waste, control blood pH, regulate fluid and electrolyte balance, as well as produce several hormones, loss of kidney function results in the accumulation of toxic waste, electrolyte imbalances, and a number of other health problems. The disease develops slowly over time, progressing from renal insufficiency to end-stage renal failure. Often, initial loss of renal tissue does not show any symptoms. Symptoms typically appear when a significant portion of kidney function is already lost. So what are the causes and risk factors of CKD? Acute renal failure, hypertension, diabetes, and other kidney diseases including polycystic kidney disease all of which can lead to irreversible loss of nephrons, which is chronic kidney failure. Let's look at each of these causes in more detail. Acute renal failure can lead to chronic kidney failure. Acute renal failure, unlike chronic kidney failure, is reversible. There are many causes of ARF. One way to categorize them is pre-renal causes, intra-renal causes, and post-renal causes. Please check out our video on AKI by clicking the link on top. Let's look at how hypertension or high blood pressure causes chronic kidney failure. For that, let's take a closer look at the kidney. The functional unit of the kidney that filters our blood to form urine is the nephron. When blood pressure is normal, blood gets filtered normally through the nephron. Let's zoom in to what will happen during hypertension. When someone has hypertension, it causes thickening of blood vessels entering the kidney, which causes narrowing of the lumen. Because there is narrowing of the lumen, there is less blood flow to the kidneys. With less blood flow to the nephron, there is a decrease in filtration, thus decreasing the GFR or the glomerular filtration rate. When there is a decrease in filtration, there are cells in the nephron which detect this and start producing renin which subsequently leads to the activation of renin angiotensin aldosterone system or RAS for short. The RAS system leads to increase in heart rate and further hypertension. This is unfortunate as even though the kidney thinks by increasing blood pressure it might receive more blood, there will be further vessel thickening and vessel narrowing and it's all a vicious cycle. This will all further lead to glomerular sclerosis which is thickening and hardening of the vessels in the nephron. Glomerular sclerosis leads to ischemic kidney injury which leads to the loss of nephrons. Let's take a look at diabetes. Chronic high blood glucose levels bring damage to tiny blood vessels in the kidneys. This affects their functions and in turn bring more damage to the kidneys. So how does this happen? Diabetes is a condition where you have high blood glucose or hyperglycemia. High blood glucose leads to overproduction of reactive oxygen species or ROS. This will lead to production of unnecessary growth factors. All of this leads to the most important complication of diabetes which is diabetic nephropathy which in turn causes glomerular basement thickening and sclerosis in the nephron. What are the symptoms of CKD? CKD is usually detected by the presence of high blood pressure and proteinuria or hematuria or the reduction in GFR with increased serum creatinine. In advanced CKD, typical symptoms may include abnormal urine output, which includes polyuria, oliguria or nocturia, which is increase or decrease in urine output or constant urinating at night. Fluid overload which may present as dyspnea or shortness of breath and severe uremia which is the increasing in blood urea nitrogen levels. That is all. Thank you for watching. Show us your support on Patreon. Subscribe for similar content and click that bell icon. Don't forget to check out this playlist and follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram to stay tuned. Minutemen, where medicine is made fun.